on and cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schomer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a lovely little product right here. Gold hued, nice loveliness. This is called Captain Morgan Limited Edition Sherry Oak Fish. So, it's a limited edition. It's got a, first off, the best thing to know about limited editions is they usually look cooler. Uh, this one's got like a like a flashy sticker that looks like it's like a, almost like steel built onto it, so that's kind of cool. Of course, it's got Captain Morgan right here, um, the the famous pirate privateer captain person. Um, so so there's a story behind this. I don't know how much of it's real, so we're gonna start with the story. Uh, so January 28, 1960, uh, 1671. He wasn't alive in 1971. Uh, captain Henry Morgan. By the way, one of Forbes' top ten, I think number six, uh, let's see, top earning pirates, if you will. So we're looking at somebody who would be worth about $14.1 million in plunder uh, with with what he probably has taken away over the years. Uh, but he's dead, so it doesn't mean anything anymore. So basically, there's, this, there's a Panama sacking where Morgan takes Panama slaughters people, tortures people to get all of their cash and their gold and treasures and everything else. But the Spanish fleet had already taken the treasures out of Panama, so we got there and there wasn't much there. And apparently the ship that was carrying it was too far away, and it gets away. That's more of the probably closer to the real truth of the legend. And then what the folks over in their press releases and stuff said about Captain Morgan Limited Edition is that uh, a few years ago, some 17th century, maybe even last year, some 17th century vessels were found in the bottom of the ocean, supposedly owned by Captain Morgan. Uh, the, the Serenity, or no, that's, that's Firefly. The uh, Sensation, or I don't remember what it's called. Doesn't really matter. The end result is the bottom of the ocean, ships were found, apparently, and it had some sherry oak casks in there, which would have been Captain Morgan's sherry oak private stock if you will, and so that inspired the creation of this limited edition Captain Morgan beverage of champions. It's got Clenfiddich on there. Sorry, guys. Competing brand, I guess? I don't know. So what I did, two things. In order to make this fair, I brought in um, our friend here, Captain Morgan Original Spice. See the difference in color. Uh, let me see if I can help you out here. It's a little bit darker, not much, but a little bit, a little bit more of an amber hue to this one. And actually, we have it right here. So one's lighter. You can probably see that from there. I'll put it against the wall so you can see. Uh, one is definitely lighter than the other when you do a comparison this way. This one looks rich, awesomeness. Could be caramel color. Could be sherry oak cask finish. Smells like caramel. <sighs> Smells like. You're gonna have to give me a minute. Spices, sweet spices. I'm first off, never been a big, huge fan. I was when I was in college of Captain Morgan. You could buy the stuff by the handle, you could drink it, it was always great and coke. Like, Woo! It was really good. And then I started to understand that there's a lot of other brands out there. And it really was around the time I started doing the show that it dawned on me that there were other brands Kraken, Blackbeard, The Lash, uh, Cruisin 9, to name a couple that are right in the front here. Uh, Captain Morgan, Private Stock. Spice Jack, um, and a few others that I happen to have. So, this has definitely more of a caramel flavor smell to it. it smells tasty. Now, oh, Sailor Jerry. Uh, Captain Morgan Original, which I'll taste compare to see if I can find some subtle differences. The what I found is it's weak, it's a light, it's, it's a very weak attempt at a spice rum. Great for the price, uh, $16.99, I believe, is what I paid. Now, this this new product was launched in the summer, this guy here. And it's limited edition, but I don't know what that means because they haven't given a cast count of how much, or barrels, or cases, of how much they have. So it's limited, whatever. $19.99 MSRP. I can get it for $17.99. That's what I paid for mine. $16.99 for a regular bottle. So it's a wash when you're considering the two. I would personally start usually going away from Captain Morgan original in all cases. Private stock's one of my favorite ever. The blended Caribbean rums 
with their proprietary spices. We don't know what those are. Uh, probably finished in a bourbon barrel at some point, and then now, or not finished, but rested in a bourbon barrel or some barrel, more likely some type of oak. Now it's being finished in the, the sherry cask. So you're getting a little bit more buttery oak maturity, sweet caramel flavor, along with those the riot of spices you get from a Captain Morgan. But let's check that out because I get Captain Morgan here. Tastes like water in my comparison. Seriously. Water. Um, water. It's got some spice. Definitely sweet. A little bit more alcohol. Actually, that's probably a good thing to look at. This is 35% ABV. Duh! Small ball, because I don't really drink this stuff. This is used as a basis of comparison. Uh, ba -ba -ba, 35. Same. Not normally 40 for spice rums, only because the spices and everything have to be included in the percentage. So you have to take away alcohol to put spices in. This just smells more mature. Now I understand it probably doesn't mean it's this is the most mature product on the planet. I'm okay with that. I'm spending $16.99 on a bottle. My goal is to find out what are some of the differences. I don't think this stacks up against private stock, but I believe private stock is more money. Let's say 20. I don't know. We'll make up a number. It's gonna be more. But sweeter nose, definitely rich on caramel. I don't really get any sherry per se. Definitely got some... Uh, I can't put my finger... Maybe it's all spice. There's some spice in there. Very buttery, flavorful, approachable. It, it For the same price or close, there is no good reason. And I said this with Captain Morgan Black. Also a better product. A little bit more powerful. Um, a little bit more punch in the face. But Black should be where... Captain Morgan original. It should just take over the line. Tattoo, tattoo should be burned. Tattoo's awful. It tastes like cherry cough syrup. And I'm not a big fan of cherry cough syrup. This, now I'm starting to think maybe this is really the way they should go. Now they probably won't. Nobody listens to me. But if you're looking at the same price or close, that means they should be able to get a handle of spiced rum from this limited edition here for about the same. And if you're a college student, and you're what are known as the poor college student, where you don't have a lot of money, and you do with what you have, spiced rum, you want to get as good as you can for your money, this is better. It's got more approachability. It definitely sips better than the original. The original is boring. You add water to that? Like, which I did. I added a little bit of water. But you put that on ice? God, it's just going to be more water. Right? You should always have water with your, with your spirit. But... That's that's overkill. It will be a watered down mess. The, you need to add like two times as much of this to Coke to get any type of substantial flavor. It, it Coke is so sweet already. It's like almost masking it. It's just it's flat. It's watery. It's boring. It's not anything that excites me about a spiced rum, where most of the other ones, including a lot of their other brandings, do. It's weightier. It doesn't taste as thin as Captain Morgan. So more weight, more butter, more caramel, all the things that you want in cake can be found in here, except for actual things that you find in cake. So overall, I like this product better. For those that are looking, it is a summer release. This is my market test. I put out the, the Jaeger Spice Rum probably yesterday, and the, the feedback and the view count was so high so quickly that I'm trying to make sure I cover all the things people have questions about. People have been asking me about Captain Morgan Limited Edition. What does it taste like? They want to know before they buy it. That's why we're here. That's what I'm doing. So hopefully that gives you some sort of clue into what you're looking at in a slightly more mature, slightly sweeter, still has a very tame spice finish. I like Oak Heart. Eh, tastes like pepper to me. Um, I like some of the other flavors from Cruzion 9, more allspice driven. The Lash, maybe one of those is cracking. You get more of a brown sugar, a little more potency to them, a little more ripping face action. Uh, Captain Morgan Private Stock has definitely got more of an infusion of awesome spices. It's like they took uh, limited edition and really brought out the bouquet and the flavor. But 
for your money. If you're looking at both of those bottles side by side, and you're like, what is the difference? Derek, what is the difference between regular and limited edition? What should I buy? You should continue to buy limited edition until it's gone. Um, I don't know what they're attempting to do. If it's a market test, if they just had some cherry oak casks floating around, if they're looking for more marketing to bring people into their brand, my only downfall I would think from that perspective is if you bring them into your brand and then you lean them on this when your other one's no longer in circulation, boring! You are going to utterly disappoint humanity. So I'm hoping this is a step towards the private stock or the Captain Morgan Black where they're not going to try and force you to the original because that would just be a travesty. That's it, folks. Uh, question of the day. What is another spirit you want to see us to see us review? On the list of things I have right now, Kahlua Pumpkin Spice. I want to do all these this week if possible. Kahlua Pumpkin Spice. I want. I got a seasonal version of, it's actually right now my camera mount, is um, a seasonal Tennessee cider from Jack Daniels, old number seven. So I've got this Tennessee cider here with all this like cool seasonal decorations to it. Also just arrived today is Cruzion Estate Light Rum. I think MSRP $19. Cruzion Estate Diamond Dark Rum. Same price. And then we've got Cruzion Single Barrel. Woohoo! I think I had one of these someplace. Those came in from the Cruzion uh, Collectors or Distillers Collection. And on top of that, I also have Southern Comfort Cherry. So those are some of the options to look forward to. Right down below, I'd love to know those that clicked on this that don't typically watch every single video we do. Why did you click on it? Is it is there a specific trend of types of product you want to see? Is it that you saw something on a commercial? Like Captain Morgan's always making awesome commercials. Do you see that and go, I wish I could learn more about that? You're not searching for it specifically, but when we come up on your feed and you see it in your little YouTube subscription feed, you go, dude, I'm clicking on that, I'm watching it. What's driving you to watch more of those videos that obviously are a very quick bump up from some of the uh, cocktail videos? So I just want to know what it is. Why did you watch the Spice video? Why are you watching this one? And why aren't you watching all the other ones? i just love to know to be able to make sure I focus on what you guys want the most. We're done. There's plenty of questions in there. So go answer the questions. You type like this. We also have a Google Plus account. You can check that. You have recipes? Recipe at EverydayDrinkers.com. Again, our live stream, live.EverydayDrinkers.com on Friday night, 7.30 Eastern Time, GMT, like minus four or something like that. Uh, daylight savings time always screws me up, but you get the idea. Just use a timezone.com or something. All right, we're teaching you how to drink.